because Chobin's apparently a blind old fool. No, Kaminko's old. Chobin's like, I don't even know how old Chobin is. Wait, who goes there? And stupid Chobin. I like his glasses, though. He must be another burglar. Yeah, 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 I'm not a burglar, you stupid guy. You know you're wearing glasses. Alright, Sun Oh, uh, what? Gyarados? Oh, no. Yeah, he got a little bit tougher since his last visit. And he's now packing a Gyarados. And obviously has to intimidate. If you came back here beforehand, he'll have a, um... He'll have a... What is it? Um... He'll have the Magikarp. So, it was kind of foreshadowing he was going to get a Gyarados eventually. So, let's send in Body. And it has Thrash. That's not good. Jeez, that did a lot. Ice Beam. And that'll obviously take out Sun Current. Uh, this is bringing back memories for some reason of the first episode. Yeah, Sun Current doesn't give any experience whatsoever. And now there's just this Gyarados. Um, this is gonna be no problem. Honestly, Gyarados is the more threatening member of his team, obviously. Because it's a friggin' Gyarados. How would it not be? Ice Beam. And it doesn't take it out. Nor do I get freeze hacks. Dang it. I'm actually recording this at 12. I started at 11 and I, it's like 12 now. So yeah, I've been recording for almost an hour now. Actually, it's exactly an hour. But I love this game too much. Dang it. Chilbin lost. I don't understand how his gla swirly glasses become like shortenly like they shrink. I don't understand how that works. And it's Dr. Kaminko. Dr. Kaminko. Apparently, people with the same glasses have to, like, understand. Uh, apparently you can see people with the same glasses, apparently. I don't know how it works. Apparently, he said something about a secret project, I don't know. What do you say? Foo-foo-foo-foo! Soon. Yes, very soon. You'll see what we have store for you. If you wish to flee, let it be now. No. Ah, your intention is to burgle no matter what. A harsh lesson needs to be taught. Fine, let us begin. Tweet through the rumble. A thunder flies the, fills the air. The weather remains free of clouds. Let the thunder tear the skies. Let the thunder turn of the skies and run, read the earth. The time to come for the ultimate Robo Pokemon to finally reveal itself. Come, Hilther, hit, hit her, Robo Groudon. Oh my god. What is this, Godzilla all of a sudden? And holy crap, Chobin's in that thing. I just saw his stubby little freaky arms. This this scene was so cool as a kid. And unfortunately, it's just Chobin in a robot Groudon suit. Robo Groudon, go! Gua, this is who you battle. You've been warned. Robo Groudon Chobin would like to battle. Now, this fight's very unique, actually. As opposed from getting uh, Robo Groudon, he evolved his Sun Kern into a Sun Flora with a Sleep or no, a Sunstone. He still has the two same Pokemon, with the exception of one other Pokemon, of something else. He has, um, if we'll show it off, he has four Pokemon now. 
but he's still as pathetic as he was before. So, if you're worried about this fight being any different, then fear not, because this fight is exactly the same. The only difference is, is that he only has two Pokémon, and one of them's evolved. And ha! Take that! I predicted this time, even though I wasn't... I didn't know he was gonna go with Thrash. But anyway, Ice Beam... What? It doesn't take out Sunflora? Oh no, now it's going for Sunny Day. That's not good, actually, because most of this guy's Pokémon is a Sun team, aside from the Gyarados. Um... Ice Beam, the Sun Floor again, and let's use let's use Confuse Ray on the Gyarados. My controller can stop acting up. Oh, okay, Bite could hurt a little bit. Eh, I didn't do too much. Did about half. Not not nearly about, but okay, Ray's Relief could hurt. And ha, missed. Ice Beam. No rainbow beam. How sad. Okay, Sunkern goes down. Now, as opposed from his... Oh, broke. Got a level, apparently. Oh yeah, he'll get most levels because... Wait, what, pursuit? No thanks. I don't want Pursuit. You know, something I noticed that... Episode where I got... Gave Sveal Water Pulse? I think that was the only time I ever gave him... I gave my Pokemon a TM. I don't think I ever gave anyone anything else. Ice Beam. And... Wait, did I use... Oh, I didn't. Because uh, it flinched me. Beach Seed. <sighs> I'm getting Deja Vu. Is this the same Hoppet back from the friggin' Poke Spot? Come on, Bite Sveal. Dang it. Now, I just hope that Bro can get off Confuse Ray. And I hope this kills stupid Hobbit, despite the fact the sun's out. And it does! Very nice. Now he actually has a pretty unique Pokémon, actually. Tropius. Now, Tropius is actually one of my favorite uh, flying types. Well, not favorite. Well, it's actually one of my favorite Pokémon in the Hoenn region. I like so many Pokémon in the Hoenn region, actually. Now, thinking about it, I have a Duskull, I have a Sveal, I have a Numo. And, uh, the not, last member of my team is not a, uh, a Hoenn Pokemon, unfortunately. I'm gonna switch out, because you're about to die, into Ezra. Or Ezra, I don't know. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, because I probably got people in the comments saying, like, Oh my god, you pronounced it wrong, even though I probably have, like, five people, or... Like, I'll probably have... I'll be lucky if, if like, ten hundred people wa watch this. Because, like... I get, like, no views on Pokemon XD. I don't know why. I guess people like, oh, XD's an overdone game. I would understand that, actually. In fact, actually, that's probably the case, actually. But I don't get it. Why do people, like... I mean, yeah, it's a different... I mean, yeah, it's not the most original LP, but it's like... I mean, come on, it's like... People don't have to play underrated... Well, yeah, well, if they... Um, they can play underrated games, yeah, but, like, if it's, like, for the sake of popularity, then I can understand, but, like, if you just want to play the game and just, like, have fun with it, then, yeah, it'll be a game. Hey, but, like, I don't get that. It's, like, people are so limited because they think they have to do something original. I, I, you know, actually, I, I have plans for the future to help be Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door and stuff, and some other games that are really overdone. But it's like, I don't really care if I don't get many views, as long as, like, people watching, if people are watching my videos, I don't know why, but it's like they're watching the videos and they're, like, laughing and, like, enjoying it, then, yeah, I'll, and if I'm enjoying it, then, yeah, I'll play it. Chopin lost, lost with Robo Groudon! And Robo Groudon just breaks down. Yeah, but like seriously, why do people have to think that they have to do something original? But but how could this be my Robo Groudon gone down in defeat? Huh? Oh, on closer inspection, it's Scotty. It's been a while. What? 
Uh, our alley burglar is merely Chobin's acquaintance? A child, no less. Bah, enough! Enough of this nonsense! Given the Robo Grand Ultra Failure, uh, the half built Robo Kyogre doesn't inspire confidence. I doubt that will be useful. Chobin, I see. See to it that Robo Kyogre is disposed of as scrap by making it at the parts shop. Understood? Ah, we're dropping development on Robo Kyogre? It's finished. Over and done with. Kaput. The whole robot Pokemon plan is cancelled. Doctor, wait, please. Chobin would like to keep the Robo Ground on at least. Humph, I have no interest in a Robo I've scrapped. As you wish. Alright. Sigh, after all we did to bring this so closer to completion. Chobin wants to know. Oh, what brings you here today? Chobin sees you want to see part shop, shop man, right? Mikan is the man. Our Chobin suggests you go have a look. All right. Oh yes, Scotty. Chobin, like your PDA number. Oh great. Now we have. Now this guy is gonna be talking to us every five seconds. Brilliant. Let's talk to part shop man. Wait, what? What do you say? Wait, what? What did you say? Next time I shall make a real Pokemon drive it. Oh, brill- yeah, oh great. Putting a grout on in there. Yeah, yeah, freaking like, put a grout on a robot cut grout on thing and like, <laughs> just break it. Then it'd be real Godzilla there, robo grout on. It's uh, the size of an actual grout on. And here you can actually see the stuff here. Wait, no, wait, no, 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 no! I didn't mean to go back up the thing. Dang it. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, actually, I forgot to get all the stuff here. Dang. It's the wrong car. An hour and ten minutes. Hmm, huh, so, so this is the Robo Kyogre that Dr. Kamingo have underdeveloped. He called it useless scrap and demanded I should haul it away, but you know, it's quite a well-engineered machine. Whoa, you've gotten uh, me quite a start. Oh, it's you, lad. What's up today? Hmm, Cypher is back then. I, was, uh, I thought they foil they folded five years ago, but they've returned. So you want to modify your scooter for the desert crossing performance? Yes, I, can you please modify my scooter? And we're magically back at Getion Port. And he's modified our scooter. I guess, um, I should end off the episode here, but I really want to play this game because I love this game so much. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, I should, I, maybe I should show off one other thing before I end off the video. Then I'll show off the new improved scooter. Uh, is it in here? No. I think it's here. In the shop. Yeah, you go upstairs and there's something here. Check it out! A Munchlax! Munch. And it's this lady's Munchlax. And basically, she, uh, she'll she sell you the herbs and stuff. They're not really... Oh, wait, does she? Uh, no, she doesn't, apparently. Yeah, but that's the other Poke That's the other uh, Sinnoh Pokemon that was uh, kind of a little, like, sneak peek of fifth generation. Both Bonsai and Munchlax were both in this game. And I'm gonna heal actually, because my Pokemon are a little bit low leveled. Actually, you know, off screen, I'm gonna train my Pokemon up to like level 30, I guess. If some, if someone evolves at level 30, then I don't think anyone will. But if someone does evolve at level 30, then I'll show it off. All right. Um. All right. I guess I'll um end it off there. So um next time on Let's a Play. Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. We'll go investigate the desert area. And if the pure Pokemon that I want that are in the purify chamber get purified, then I'll show it off. But before I do that, I uh I'm gonna go train at Mount Battle a little bit, actually. I won't do the entire Mount Battle stuff, and I will show Mount Battle on screen, but like not this version of it. You'll see what I mean. But anyway, let's see our new scooter. Freaking hover scooter. Amazing. Alright. 
Until then, I forgot to get the item. I'll get all the items from Dr. Kamingo's lab later. Until then, I have been. I, I'm the Dinosaur 64, and I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. I'll train everyone up to level 30. Hey, and this time I'll actually mean it. And if Pokemon are purified, then I'll show that stuff on screen, I guess, because I'm showing every purifying Pokemon on screen. Alright? See you guys then. Bye!